I consider that a dark force is driving Madhu to the heinous act of playing God. Can a dark force be so strong as to drive a frail, egoistic man to play God and to cause others to follow this fake God? The messages clearly say that mind power, the mental principle, is all ego and not real. Brahman is the basis of the world. We must be humble in the face of such a teaching. We know that when a dark force enters, the mind can become so polluted as to accept non-truth as truth. Even dismissing Swami's strong warning. Here are a few examples. The first has to do with money. Bearing the name of Sai name. Sarvatra Vyaparam Jabtumnaru. They do business in the name of Sai. Sai Namam Cheta Sarva Vidamukuru Mosam Chestunaru. In the name of Sai, you are deceiving many people. Idanakishtavi. Bhagavan does not appear. Irantivar Bhaktane Kadu. They are not devotees at all. Ye ye de Saliko Veli. Ye ye Prantaliko Veli. Sai Namani Amukoni. Waru. Potan Limpukutunaru. They go abroad. Visit several countries and they earn money in the name of Sai. You do business. It's a big mistake. Bhagavan will never submit himself to any pie, even single pie. Bhagavan will never approve such business. Get out another. Don't tell out such a businessman to enter into your doorstep. Send him out, neck him out. Noticed everywhere in several countries. London, America, Japan, Germany, Italy, Singapore, Malaysia, and New Zealand. This sort of a business is noticed in several countries. London, Japan, America, Malaysia, Singapore, and so on. We should not get into that business. And then, why would we think that Swami would leave Puttaparthi? I will never leave Puttaparthi. I will stay here permanently. Anyone, for that matter, will have to come to this place. Bhagavan will never go anywhere. Avatar, the nature of Avatar is to stay there where the birth has taken place. If you remove the growing plant here, transplant it somewhere else, it may grow up. So the Sachasai Baba is not willing to be shifted. This incarnation grows where it is born. This Puttaparthi has become a pilgrim center because Bhagavan continued to stay here. And then there is the sacred issue of unity in the face of Madhu splitting our organization. Remember, unity, purity, divinity. Unity is joy, delight and happiness. Unity brings about the welfare of all people. With unity, any stupendous task and Himalayan Herculean task will be accomplished. With unity, any stupendous task will be accomplished. We can see even small ants by coming together can kill even a big snake. If there is unity among humanity, is there any work which cannot be accomplished at all in the When can we get that unity? Only when we purify our hearts, we can achieve that kind of unity. We must be ever vigilant to counter dark forces from within or without that amplify a dharmic, egoistic, selfish impulses that cause suffering. 
Here Professor Timolcina tells how powerful dark demonic impulses can be to drive Ravana to seize Sita. So the next example is that of Ravana. This story comes from Ramayana, a very, very popular uh, uh, Hindu text, um, in a Ramayana epic um, uh, authored by Valmiki. So in this, in this narrative, what happens is there is this demon, Ravana, who kidnaps the wife of Rama. He is otherwise amazingly perfect guy, by the way. He is a devotee of Lord Shiva. He brought every single prosperity to his subjects in Lanka. And he was, he was powerful and even defeated gods. And then, um, but, uh, but brought harmony and prosperity in his country. And uh, he otherwise was very virtuous guy. And he just had a, an edge on this woman. And then he just kind of sort of took her. And, and then what happens, Rama eventually comes with his army. Uh, Rama kind of shoots him with an arrow like um, Ravana is mortally wounded. He's going to live for only maybe a few hours, something like that, you know. At this moment, Rama says to his brother, he has a younger brother, you have to go and get education from this guy. And this brother is very annoyed. From a demon, what insight that demon can give? Oh, you have no idea. You have to go and learn from him. So a little annoyed. No, going, going to learn from a demon, you know, I would rather find an enlightened guru, you know, of gods, rather than going in education from a demon. But Lakshmana goes, and then, well, I'm said by my brother, is there something you can teach? Okay, ask something. You know, first question, Lakshmana asks, why do you do this? Because you know, you know you are popular as a wise man, and why would you kidnap somebody else's wife? You know what Ravana says, so touchy. Janami dharmam chaname pravritti. Janami dharmam chaname nivritti. Kena pi deve na ridisthite na yatha niyuktosmi tatha karomi. Oh Lakshman, I know what is good. I just cannot do it. But why? Janami adharmam, I know what is evil. I just cannot avoid doing it. Why? Kenapi devena ridhistitena, some type of energy that is seated in my heart, residing in me, inside me. Yatha niyuktosmi tatha karomi. As it yokes me, as it propels me, as it guides me, forces me to do, I do according. You know, because he was a very educated uh, man, therefore he could see that he's getting out of control. But still he was out of control. Sometimes, you know, when we see our moods going out of control, and we are still able to see, oh no, this is not wholesome. I'm getting out of control. I better control myself. And then sometimes some people may feel completely incapable of controlling themselves, like totally lost. I can't, I can't control myself. So that is his situation. He knows that he is pushed to do certain heinous acts. Can a dark force be so strong as to drive a frail, egoistic man to play God and to cause others to follow this fake God? Although what Madhu is doing can still be explained as fakery, and for most devotees certainly sacrilege, many wonder if he has been taken over by a dark spiritual force, strong enough to even want to challenge God. A dark force that can influence the mind of man and draw us into terrible conflict, causing suffering and hatred. It seems to me that the only realistic approach is Swami's teaching, that we simply cannot understand Him. And like the messages say, mind power, the mental principle is all ego and not real. Brahman is the basis of the world. 
we must resist following false swamis that divide. But in unison, bow before him in humility and pray for unity, purity, divinity. Krishna, Krishna, Hare, 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 H